So here we are, day one, Fontana. We're in an Airbnb and in the back we got most of our little group playing card game. Oh no. You excited for tomorrow? I'm excited, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna play so many card games. So out of the local Nexus crew, uh, it's just Miles for now. So <laughs> Uh, got friends, we have Eric, Chris, Alvin, Atlas is here with us, um, our friend Hal. I think that's it, just for who's staying with us. We're gonna be meeting up with other people at the event tomorrow. We're gonna be getting up pretty early because we're gonna try and get breakfast and, you know, try and be at least be awake for the event because we are staying up pretty late, still playing. It's 11.30 right now. So hopefully we won't be awfully tired tomorrow morning but we'll have to wait and see. But for now, here's to tomorrow. Bye. Finish round one. On? No, <laughs> actually, how you start? How'd your how'd your round one go? Um, I'm the quickest one, and <laughs> which means I lost first. I got smooth brain and I got greedy against a overlord player and eat up three damage early game. <laughs> That's why I lost. What are you playing again? I play Silverthorn. I thought I could eat up three damage because uh, original Lukia effect and then. What is her name? The Liliana? Yeah. I thought I could use both of those effects to fetch stuff, but I guess I got too greedy. Oh. Alright, Miles. Uh, your game came in clutch. How'd, you, how'd your game go? I'm using Raging Form against uh, Vanquisher, and it was intense. I wasn't seeing Raging Forms. I had my one, and I was like, I'm not gonna rely on top decking it, so I just reroad to Raging Fall, and I just pushed with the restand from there. Uh, I beat him. But um, he like, I emptied out his whole hand, got a good turn on me. I emptied out my whole hand, and then I just managed to just beat him out without, he just didn't have a hand, and I was like, all right. I rerode to Raging Fall to get a third force marker. I called my one danger lunge. I was like, I'm ready, let's do this. I swing with my Vanguard, first attack. I'm like, 28? And he's like, all right, no guard? And I hit a crit, I'm like, cool. There goes my big bombastic cool play. I won, <laughs> but in no celebratory fashion other than just playing Vanguard. So, Fair enough. Crit Sentinel is good. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Sentinel is good. <laughs> Those 30k crits are saving my ass. I won my round two, so right now we're, we're, what? You call it X and, yeah, we're X and O right now. Yeah. I played a mirror match. I played against Hezel, uh, which, uh, yeah, it's awkward because I forgot that Grand Ezel Scissors stops auto abilities, which meant I couldn't use my Gurgit's defensive ability. But I was, I came in clutch because I was kind of hitting okay numbers. But then Gurgit's top five, I found Percival of the top five, called it, and then my board got even more buffed because extra Excel marker. So that's honestly Percival saved the day once again. So thank you, Percy. Love you. We just finished up round two. Uh, let's go ahead and just go under how. How does okay. your so game go? I play against Revenger, Raging Fall? That's it. Form Fall, either one. Form Fall, that thing that everyone loved. Um, it was clutch. I went down to last four power in my deck, but I stacked it with a bunch of front trigger with early game. So I keep on drawing all the way down, and then I almost eight attack, and then I attack with Vanguard first, front trigger. So. Nice. 40 plus, uh, 40 plus for each attack. So the guy just like, okay, you, I think you got it. And we were at time, so he just scooped yeah. right into there. Oh, I gotcha. Um, I messed up really bad. I still won somehow, but I uh, I went into my, probably my second Gurgit turn and I pulled a front trigger, but guess what I didn't do? I didn't count the front trigger. 
when I was swinging with my attack. So all my attacks were 10k short because I forgot. And my opponent obviously survived that turn, but I still pushed him to five. I was playing against Raptor Colonels. Um, so he makes his little board, swings with all the rear guards. I was lucky to get a defensive trigger. He swung with Raptor Colonel. Both swings had no triggers, somehow survived. I went to my Gurga turn and I got a front trigger. I counted it this time. And then that's what won me the game with my multi-attacking. So I got very lucky. But what was good to know is that at least with Hal, Hal got his win. Miles got his win. We're going to go talk to him in a bit. So even if I lost mine, we still would have made it to round three. But uh, moral of the story is I'm an idiot. <laughs> How'd your game go? I won. Amon decked out at four. They hit a, heal, a draw trigger. Oh, you, they, you won by deck out? Yeah, but I would have won either way. Just that it's funny that that was how it happened. Okay, I got you. I guarded a two to pass or three to pass. Because uh -huh. Amon had like triple drive. And he was like, all right. Um, first check, nothing. Second check, draw. And he's like, oh. <laughs> just like, all right, GG, bro. All right, for sure. That's how I took it. All right, boys, our first loss. Yeah. How we feeling? Uh, All right, Hal, start us off. All right, so I won my game against Night Rose. I think the opponent having was having a hard time getting Skull Dragon into their drop zone. That's why they couldn't hit me a lot. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of ran with it, and I had a pretty good opening hand and got everything I needed for Silverthorn. So I think I was at an advantage the whole time. Starting hand, and for like a turn, I saw zero grade threes. But I top decked Danger Lunge, one of the only non revengers in my deck. So my grade one run was Rakia, my grade two run was Rukea. So when I rode Danger Lunge, neither of those got to go off. I didn't see Raging Form until two turns later. Uh, I played against Jewel Knights, and he just like had everything he needed. I kind of gave it to him though, because I didn't really. Like, he just needed the one counter blast, and I was like, yeah, I'll attack him just to put him at some damage, just praying I hit Raging Form. And then I rode to Raging Form, I called a field, I was hoping to top deck Raging Form, I didn't top deck Raging Form, but I lost two damage to five or six. Just bricked a little bit, nothing too bad. It's not on me, I'm still a good player. <laughs> <laughs> I had the perfect opening hand. I had Gorby for rides. I had Wonder and Howl in hand for the Superior Ride. I had Gurgit as my great. That was like the perfect hand. The turn I rode to, I was gonna ride to great two. I drew, it was my one blonde as well. So I was like, well, there went my Superior Ride. So I just had to ride Ezel as a vanilla. And uh, I was playing against Overlord. So like, you really have to be really aggressive against that deck. And I just lacked. You couldn't. I couldn't. I had everything I needed, but my deck went against me by my one Ezel that I had in hand. It just happens, it's Vanguard. <laughs> we consigned ourselves to this when we got up today at 6 a.m. Exactly. <laughs> How do we do, round right. four? <laughs> so, I lost. Uh, first time playing against Jewel Knight. I try my best because I don't know what they're doing. So just a lot of tributing effects. So basically I keep hitting the rear guard. I guess he just out-resourced me because everything is like draw one and then filter for what he needed. And yeah. then really strong Vanguard hit with lots of trigger, I guess. So I was just like, yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. really, the, the guy who's piloting was really good. So there's no right. complaints there, but I lost. How do you round four go? I got, I got, cra I got trashed. Yeah. Uh, I played against Deep Place. It was like D-Robo, Metal Board, Mixture. It was kind of cool. Yeah. But uh, he used Force 2 and Guard Restrict. And I didn't guard. I took the damage. I was at 4. I forgot Raging Form's on ride skill. I forgot Rakia's skill. It's just like I misplayed. I totally was just like brain dead. And then he also did Brad Black into Zeal and <laughs> nabbed me to 3K. So wait, wait, wait. So he had. He had zero metal board. Sin Buster. Sin, but yeah, metal board, Sin Buster. Red Black. Red Black. Yeah. And Zeal. Yeah. I was at 3K and I guarded with everything in my hand except for a Rakia, which I used to call a card, and two Raging Fall. So <laughs> I was like, great, I can't use Raging Fall, but I can use Raging Form. And he, I, he had two PGs in hand, and I was like, all right, uh, well, fuck yeah. me, that's it. I also double crit him at three damage, and he miracle healed at six. I'm like, <laughs> you know, that's what would have done it. Like, okay, yeah, I misplayed twice, but those weren't like game breaking moments. Are you touching my belly button? Oh. Lucky number seven. Suppose. Not mine. Yeah. Game, you know, nothing that would have like changed the game completely, but like, 
that, that it was the crit. I was just like, yeah. cool, this is how the game is. So, my game, I played Overlord again. So it's round four, Overlord. Um, I'd say the biggest turn that decided the game was he was on grade two. He got two damage triggers, so he's at 30k. And then, after I did another, my Vanguard attack, he put down a Heal Guardian, putting on his Vanguard now at 40k base, basically. And I didn't see any triggers, so my turn kind of went dead. Then he rode the cross and did his thing, yeah. So, like, mine, mine was just kind of like, I set up my aggro turn, and he got a lot of defensive triggers, and the Heal Guardian saved him. But honestly, that's what I really like about the Hill Guardians, because that's like the point of the card. It stops you from getting rushed by all these multi-attack, front trigger reliant decks that just push you for damage. So it was a very that's Vanguard game. Plays front trigger rush heavy decks, I can say. But... Yeah. <laughs> game go. Um, I play Silverthorn versus Amon. He keep letting me shove Dorian from the drop zone into my back into my soul. So infinite resource. <laughs> so. And then he couldn't, he couldn't attack big enough to get over my PG, so I won. All right, Miles, how did our fifth and final round go for you? I lost. <laughs> That's such a loser today. No, um, it was a close game. I played against Bermuda Lupina, I think it's her name, or like Lupinas. <laughs> uh, they just restood with big numbers, and I hit my Raging Form, into my Raging Form, into Raging Fall, so that felt good. So I won in my own heart. But uh, I just didn't have enough to guard their big numbers, their big restanding numbers, and they crushed me. And uh, I lost, but it was fun, and I almost had them. I would have won if I just had a few more, if I just maybe hit that damage trigger, or I had that extra. If I had one of those sentinel crits instead of a regular crit, just those little things. Yeah. But you gotta be okay with that. I woke up in the morning at 6 a.m., I stared at the ceiling, and I said, this is what I'm going to put up with today. <laughs> and that's why I'm okay. So my game, Miles, since you want to know so bad. So I played against Himiko. I just basically got a front trigger to kind of seal the game. Um, nothing special. Uh, Percival showed up once, which is cool, but it just kind of got my second marker. Everything got 10k. That's about it. It was really came down to the fact that I got a, a second, not a second, but I got a front and then a, a second trigger after that. So triggers win the game again. Love this game. <laughs> Round one of premium. Yeah. You guys have fun? How you go first. Okay. No, I didn't have fun. <laughs> Even though he stopped, he, oh. I stopped him from doing his stuff. He played DP, uh -huh. but he, um, so a lot of great threes in hand. Well, what are you playing? Mega Colony Order. <laughs> and he um, somehow lost, look at you. So he have a lot of great, he was able to get a lot of great three in hand. And he have that great three Seraph Snow support card that basically stop multi-attack if you call the car from anywhere other than your hands mm -hmm. and I got greedy because that's the first time I encountered that thing right so I got greedy tried to get rid of it before actually um, doing my regular attack when I could just get rid of one of them because he had two on the field and just deal the four damage and uh, that was that it's a new matchup for me and I wasn't really expecting that at all and then he attacked for what 70 something with mm. four crit and a restand and I was like I mess up there. Oopsie. Yeah. Our miles. Sorry, how was oh. how was your round one? I played the mirror match Whoa. with uh, Luard and a uh, super close game. Uh, he was at five damage and had uh, eight cards in hand. I know he had at least two PGs and uh, I threw down chain ranker. I swung. I uh, tried to just mill his whole hand out and uh, I got all the way down to him having no cards in hand or one card left and I was like all right here's what I'm gonna do I have like no cards like I had like a 13k column a 12k column like just barely enough they did to drop one card and then my 26k vanguard I had nothing and I was like I'm gonna hope to hit a stand trigger and if I restand this rear guard it's gonna it's it's gonna get him so I did like swing with one he intercepted did uh, my other call which was Dagda called blue espada <laughs> Oh no. And one other grade one. My oh one both the the low sorry, the only grade two ones left in my deck. Blue spot is mandatory, you know, mill three. Two stand triggers in that. I already yeah. went through one stand trigger and I was like, cool, I've got one stand left in deck. So my odds of hitting that stand fucking plummeted. 
and I double crated in my triple drive. He dropped three PGs. Because I was like, chain ranking, you gotta drop three cards at a time. And yeah. he's like, cool. G guard the intercept first, G guard the second, G guard the third. And I was like, all right, Vanguard attack, because I'm just gonna hope to restand my blue Espada. Yeah. Because he's not build guarded. And he's like, all right, PG, guard with two PGs, drop one. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that's my proud moment right there. Yeah. I, I don't care if I lost. I got to see that happen. I got to make that happen. Yeah. Um, and I just couldn't hit the stand. So like, yeah, he won. I had nothing, but it was so close. It was super fun. Uh, they said they watched the channel, so I forgot to get their names. But if you guys are watching this, fucking thank you. That was super fun. Great way to kick off the day. I'm running nine grade ones in my deck. And I, it was ne it was never a problem. Uh, yes, it was. Not really. Richard, that's like me having a dependency on alcohol, but I'm aware of it. So I'm like, it's not a problem. So I had nine grade ones. <laughs> and I open up my hand and mulligan, no grade ones. G assist, still no grade ones. So you can kind of see where that's going. And I was just kind of a turn behind everything. And uh, I was playing against Nightmare Dolls. Are we good to go because I have to pee? No. Um, no, you don't have to pee. I'm going to piss myself. So, they put a crit on Leslie, and it could be standing because of Jillian Alice. So I just was like, ah, this is going to be inevitable. So I just took the damage. Uh, not from the Leslie, but from one of the Alice's, hoping to get a heal, and I didn't. So that was the game. But it was still good, and it was honestly just to my poor deck building decisions. So we're just going to see how the rest of these rounds go. Five more to go. Let's go. Yay. Round one of uh, <laughs> wait, did we even film day two at all? We filmed day two after round one. <laughs> hey guys, this is me, Miles, and Richard after a day after the event. <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing different outfits. We just sort of forgot to film <laughs> the rest of the day, but there wasn't much. Yeah, we basically because also the other reason was when we finished filming after our results after round one, we walked back into the venue. And people are oh, already. Oh, <laughs> let's no, we... go back in, and then we just hear, "All right, uh, Vanguard Premium players go to post Mulligan," and we were like, "Huh?" Sitting. Yeah. <laughs> but we rushed over. Oh yeah, we rushed over to our table to find that we were playing against our friends, mm -hmm. Chris, Al, uh, Alvin. Omar, yeah. and Alvin. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I fought Chris and Mega Colony. Lost. Mm -hmm. Chris is like. Don't worry, you played well. And I was like, no, 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 I know I played well. I did everything I needed to do. I actually didn't misplay at all. I did fine. Your deck is just stupid. <laughs> right. It was a good game, just I lost. It's Grenor, um, uh, our order colony. Yeah, my main problem still continued, nine grade ones, but that's just kind of <laughs> like how the rest of the day went. Well, we also stopped playing after round three because we, we still lost to Omar, Chris, and Alvin's team. So we were at X and two, so it didn't yeah. matter really for the rest of the event. The morale sort of went like, pew. Yeah. Richard put a morale bar right there. Right. <laughs> I'll do <laughs> it. And then Howe, I think, lost two. Uh, but, um, well, there was, a, there was yeah. a big thing that we found out about Howe's deck the day <laughs> yeah, of the so, event. So he was like, I uh, I have to finish this as fast as I can. And I was like, what, what's the matter, Alvin? He's like, I can't use PGs. And I'm like, you're, you're playing against Raging Form. What are you talking about? And he's like, no. I can't use PGs. <laughs> I'm like, are you running the Sentinel crit? Like I was doing in my uh, V Premium Shadow Paladin deck. And he's like, no, I'm using the Dark Face PG. <laughs> Cause you know, it only PG is a Dark Face Vanguard. And the the the, uh, the Stoicaea right. Grade 3 is a Dark Face. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, Atlas pointed it out to me last night. <laughs> <laughs> he was running it for the other effect to like bind and soul charge, whatever it does. <laughs> He yeah. just didn't realize that the skill specifically says when your your <laughs> vanguard with dark when your unit with dark, dark face, face in its name is being name, attacked. Yeah. He was like, no one. He was like, everyone knows what a PG does. No one reads the PG. Yeah, exactly. That's what he said today. Alice was like, why don't you read the card? He's like, no one reads what a PG does. So poor Miles had me running nine grade ones. Richard's at nine grade ones. How's it? No PGs and no Sentinel crits. And I'm just over here like, I hope I don't misplay. <laughs> I have the best deck here by virtue of that everything in it works. We did play to round three and we technically, we won that round. 
Yeah, we did. We and did. then right I, afterwards, we were like, even with our opponents in front of us, so we were like, so we're <laughs> right, dropping, in right? Front of, we had just won. The judge came by, confirmed the win, and then we were like, do you guys want to drop and go get Korean barbecue? <laughs> so to clarify, <laughs> we weren't sure what everyone else was doing. Because yeah. like, if everyone is staying, we're going to keep playing. Yeah. We're just going to stay. Yeah, we weren't like, yeah, we were like, we'll just keep playing because we're having fun. And we know we're not, we're going to go like X2 and we're not going to make it to top eight, but we don't care. We want to play Vanguard. We're here. But like, we had like two other groups playing in, v, in, in premium. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, playing premium. And one of those groups, I think it was Atlas's group, they were like, we're scooping. What do you guys want to do? And we're like, oh, well, if you guys are scooping, let's all get together and get food. Let's do a Korean barbecue because it's like two o'clock. Chris runs over and is like, I'm waiting on a guy to finish the tournament so I can buy a deck off of him. And I'm just like, we want to leave. <laughs> it wasn't like Chris's team was like, we'll keep playing until Chris is done. Yeah. His teammates were like, we're, no, we're, we're done. Yeah, we're like dropping. They, they, are, they already dropped. Yeah. In front of our opponents, we just beat. We're just like, so you guys want to drop and get food? And I was like, oh my God, this is so stupid that we're saying this. Yeah. We were already yeah. all in the lower bracket anyway, so it didn't really matter. That round was an interesting matchup too, because... Yeah. You played against Break Ride Pale Moon? Yeah, break, it was Miracle Pop Ava the Break Ride, and the deck didn't go off, so I didn't know what the deck did. He just rode Miracle, did a very basic Dark Princess stride, did maybe three attacks. Like, he even had an open column that was swinging for 40k, and it would have done one damage, but he was he was like, I'm gonna leave you at two damage, right? Like I, Can I add yeah. to that real quick? Yeah. So, I won my game first against a full Bronto deck, uh -huh. and then I'm like, I turn... And I'm like, I see, you know, how does his little PG joke I just told? And like, then he loses. And I'm like, okay, it's all to Richard. And I turn and I see that his opponent's at two damage. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. But I, and I, I see that Richard hasn't, uh, he didn't strode, he didn't stride. And like, he's just sort of slowly setting up a field, like putting dice here and there and counting numbers. I'm like, damn, Richard's playing solitaire to get out of this. <laughs> um, I wasn't and then, though. <laughs> really? Because I was actually like being aggressive. I wasn't just like pass, like yeah. passively. Because I think it, the damage. Average person was two to two. No, so that's so what I'm getting mattered. to. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh god, like this isn't looking good. And then like three minutes go by, and I'm just sort of idly sitting there. I like go on Twitter or whatever, and then I'm like, okay, let's check Richard again. And I'm looking over, I'm like, damn, this still isn't like his turn still hasn't entered battle phase. And I see he's at two damage, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And he's got this massive field, and there's dice everywhere. And I'm like, I'm like, the guy has seven cards in it, I think. I was like, this dude is going to get smashed. Never seen Richard have that much of like an offense in a game. The guy, man, took him from two to six damage in that one turn with all those attacks. He didn't get any damage triggers, so that was like yeah. the big, the big. L for him. He was also saying like I messed up my guards, which he honestly did because the thing was he was getting a little bit confused because I did my smallest attack first, which was 18. Mind you, the second big visit biggest was 34. <laughs> so it went from 18 to 34, right? So but the thing was he he was asking for the column numbers, right? So I was like, oh cool, 18, 34, 40, 40, 44, 60, right? So he was like Okay, G guard. I'm like, wait, why is he G guarding the 18? This is <laughs> this is the yeah. 10k block. Like, yeah. the, he explained that you didn't realize you had another attack at some point too. So, yeah, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah. I didn't see the standing yeah. thing for 44. But like, I get it. There was so much going on. I was barely even to keep up with what I was doing. Like, I was trying to as well. That's why I had the dice. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I was like, I get it now. I know I'm able to dice. What really honestly sealed the deal was after <laughs> my Vanguard swing, I did get a front, so everything got 10k more. That's right. So, and he wasn't getting any damage triggers, so that's yeah. what sealed the game. Yeah. That almost went into time too. It was oh, really it, funny. it went into turns. Yeah, I was turn in, zero you, and the you game ended turn in zero, turn yeah. zero. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we left after that. We went and got food. We went to Korean barbecue. It was great. Uh, yummy. And then we went home. We're like, we're gonna roast some mores. And the fire starters were old and wet and mildewy. And I was sad because I really wanted just a fire and some friends. I haven't had that in years. I wanted that. I wanted that like go, you know, like that to cap off the event. It was like I was upset we couldn't have that. Richard was like. Like calling his girlfriend I'm like okay and then he like left and no one knew where Richard was no one knew where you were and then Richard fucking busts into the the Airbnb with a whole case of fire starters He's like okay let's make this work and I'm like oh my god that barely worked but it did and then we had fire it ended up being a pretty big fire. It was like, great. It was really small. Yeah. And we were like, you know what? We'll work with this yeah. little baby fire until it goes out. It lasted us out. for like three hours. We just sat just, outside roasting marshmallows, eating s'mores, and that was great. Regardless of like the tournament, 
For so, I mean, one thing though, like it was really well organized. Things were fast. There was one error and it was on the Weiss side. It was really funny. Cause they were like, all right, Vanguard premium players like go to Pulse Mulligan. Weiss players, there is going to be a repairing. Okay. Half of the venue just went like, Oh! It was unanimous. It was like so like synchronous. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but it was like I'm just happy to be back at the events and like have these yeah. outings with friends. Like, the only thing that would have made it better is if they just let in more uh, yeah, non-tournament yeah, entries. Because yeah. I'm sure that there were a lot of people who just wanted to come and hang out with friends and play the game. Um, Hi, Tia. <laughs> Hi, Tia. <laughs> Uh, like just hang out with friends, play the game, meet their favorite YouTubers, and uh, shout out to people who came up to us. By the way, that was cool. Oh yeah, yeah, that was uh, fun. Or Wesley, like in our Anthony. <laughs> Yeah, Wesley, uh, Anthony. other names. I think I don't. I didn't ask for, and if I did, I'm sorry if I forget. Yeah, I don't remember anyone giving any other names. Mm. But um, yeah, no, it was great. It was super fun. I realized like it's it's a good time. There's a reason this I'm still like, here. Arguably, yeah. probably the best event that I've been to recently. I, I like I can't complain. Yeah, it like, was a great time. I think Grand Fest was great just because there was so much going on, and we had the clan yeah. leadership, and we were just like, yeah. whoa. Always and we something. were also in like Prime G era, like Luard, <laughs> Grozny yeah. era. Yeah. Like there was just like that that time when we had were playing Bangor, we did we were like heavily invested. Overall, that was a great day in general, and it was like that was our peak, and we kind of kind of declined. It's been after yeah. that, yeah. And today was kind of like almost up to par. It's like it's like oh that. cool, we're yeah, we're like we're going back up. And yeah. if, if the if the following events are similar to this one, but have maybe some extra stuff, because I know for the sake of time, so like time staffing venue arrangements or whatever, probably say that's why they were there weren't any like free fights or like additional activities. I'm sure that they'll do that at the next event, allow more casual players to come in. Just like if all of that happened, then I think this would be like the greatest spring fest i would ever been to yeah because there's like all the stuff that to too do. Yeah. like even the the grand fest was singles yeah so exactly. like in terms of a right. team league event all my other team leagues were kind of like eh, whatever. yeah whatever i've never had the best team league experience so this one was like really special there like, were no side events That's yeah the big no thing. side events and they i know they let some people in who were just like without a team just but, to buy stuff yeah exactly but for the most part they really only let you in if you were part of a team. So, um, yeah, no, it was great, though. Like, I'm just excited for what's next. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Until next time. Yeah, thank you, guys. We'll catch you later.